Inhale. Energies in. Exhale. All your stress, all your anxieties out. Inhale. Love and compassion for all. Exhale. All your grudges, all your complaints out. Inhale. Peace and positivity in. Exhale. All your inner and outer noises and the negativities out. With a very calm mind and a relaxed body, try to connect your breath to your body, your breath to your thoughts, your thoughts to the positive energies around your practice place. And try to become more and more grounded and surrender to your practice place. Let's start with deep breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Long and deep inhale. Slow and complete exhale. Omkar chanting three times. Inhale. Inhale. Oh. Longer and louder. Inhale. Feel the vibrations and the resonance of Omkar in your complete body and mind. And maintain the same physical strength and mental peace throughout your practice session. Bring both your palms together. Gently rub them. Place it on your eyes. Blink your eyes inside your palms. Slowly open them, looking into your palms. Happy morning once again. Okay, G. So as it's our chakra healing session, okay? Understanding chakras, the seven chakras inside your body is definitely very complicated, okay? Kaafi theory hai, bohut saare, you know, studies hai. But as we are going to practice it, so aapko thoda sa uska briefing samajna chahiye ki what we are going to do today and why, where is the need? Every time whenever you do something new, always understand what you are doing and why you are doing. What is your use to learn that thing? Okay. So when we talk about chakra. So a simple question, chakra is a Sanskrit word which means wheel or anything which can spin. Okay. Now if I ask you that what is the use of a wheel? A wheel is useful useful hai? Wheel in any form? Jab tak wo rotate kare. Jab tak wo spin kare. जिस दिन पहिया रुक गया, उस दिन उसका कोई इस्तेमाल नहीं है, उसका कोई यूज नहीं है। So the same kind of chakras or the same kind of spinning wheels, or we can say the energy cycles are present in our body at different places. Okay, the body is alive why? Because there are energy throughout the day, 24/7 the energy is revolving inside our body, and that vital energy is keeping us alive. The vital energy is keeping us healthy. It is making us to take decision. It is making uh, uh, us to face the fears and the struggles of our life. So, these are all that you life in your life. With your body, with your internal, external organs, with your mind, with your intellect. How are these energies? 
ठीक है तो सिंपल वर्ड्स में अगर आप समझे सो चक्रास आर दो एनर्जीज व्हील्स विच आर इन साइड योर बॉडी ओके एंड दो ऑल सेवन चक्रास आर रिसाइडिंग इन टू योर स्पाइन इसीलिए आपको बार बार क्या कहा जाता है सेशन में कीप योर स्पाइन स्ट्रेट ओके बिकॉज वेन यू आर सिटिंग लाइक दिस वेन यू आर हंचिंग योर बैग सो वॉट वी आर डूइंग जो एक चैनल जो एक पाइप सीधा जाना चाहिए वो अगर उसमें थोड़ा सा भी हर्डल्स हो रहा है बिकॉज ऑफ आर लैकिंग ऑफ अवेयरनेस सो वॉट वी आर डूइंग वी आर नॉट नॉट जस्ट स्पॉइलिंग आर फिजिकल यू नो स्ट्रक्चर वी आर समेयर हर्टिंग आर एनर्जी चैनल्स ओके सो टू कीप योर सेल्फ हेल्थी दीज चक्रा शुड बी एक्टिवेटेड चक्रा कुछ लोगों में दे आर ओवर एक्टिव यू मस्ट हैव सीन सम पीपल आर रेडी टू फेस दी करेज फेस दी फियर्स एनी टाइम बहुत ब्रेव होते हैं बहुत करेजियस होते हैं सम पीपल यू मस्ट हैव मैट इन योर लाइफ एज अ वेरी गुड कम्युनिकेटर बहुत अच्छी कोई भी टॉपिक दो एक मिनट में बोल दिया सम पीपल आर वेरी गुड एट टेकिंग डिसीजन सो इफ देर इज अ डोमिनेंट क्वालिटी इन यू दैट मीन दैट पर्टिकुलर चक्रा इज ओवर एक्टिव इन साइड यू ओके सो ओवर एन Uh, किसी भी चीज की अति इन कमी दोनों ही uh, अच्छा नहीं है ठीक है सो इन टूडे सेशन वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू बैलेंस दीज एनर्जीज एंड इफ देर इज एनी काइंड ऑफ एनर्जी ब्लॉकेजेस इन दीज चक्रास हाउ वी कैन ओपन दैट सो टू प्रैक्टिस टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू फॉलो विजुअलाइजेशन वी आर गोइंग टू फॉलो सम चेंटिंग ऑफ बीज मंत्रास एंड वी आर गोइंग टू फॉलो सम योगा प्रैक्टिस सो विद दी हेल्प ऑफ विजुअलाइजेशन मंत्रा चेंटिंग एंड योगा प्रैक्टिस वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड आर चक्रास बेटर एंड वी आर गोइंग टू एक्टिवेट दैम वी आर गोइंग टू रिलीज दी ब्लॉकेजेस फ्रॉम दो चक्रास एंड एट दी एंड यू शुड फील दैट येस योर बॉडी इज हैविंग लॉट्स ऑफ पॉजिटिव एनर्जीज इन साइड यू ओके जी चलो अभी शुरू करते हैं Sit in a comfortable position. So when we talk about energies, when we talk about uh, you know the opening of channels, then the first things comes of your breathing. So we are going to practice and start our session with one active pranayam that is Bhastrika. Bhastrika, as I said, it balances all your three doshas, sama doshas. आपके दोष जो है body में वात पितरन का उनको समानता करता है यानी उनमें balance लाता है. ठीक है? So हम सभी Bhastrika करेंगे. It is going to improve your lungs and chest capacity also. So that That during your further practices, your breathing is going to support you better. Okay, so make a fist. We'll be doing it sitting in Sukhasan, keeping your thumb in, fist close. Start with Bhastrika. Thirty strokes. करने वाले हैं सभी. Hands will go up and down only. Okay, so shoulders roll back, chest little out, keeping your fist beside your chest, beside your shoulders. Let's start with every inhale. Palms will be open with every exhale. Back to your fist, okay? And the frequency, the speed of your inhale and exhale has to be same. Just the speed se saas loge, usi speed se saas ko chhodna hai. Chali ji, aake band kar le sabhi. Close your eyes. Let's start. complete exhale relax your hand eyes close feel that instant energy in your complete body and mind the opening up of your lungs and your chest for better breathing during your practice now slowly open and let's start okay chali we'll start the chakras when we work on the activation we start from lower to up the energy flows this way okay niche se upar fine so the first chakra is mooladhara chakra the root chakra in english we know we know it as a root chakra the placement is the perineum or we can say the groin area okay the anal muscles and the between part of <coughs> in the part of your groin area there the placement of this chakra is okay the color is red 
The chakras color is red because when you have to visualize the thing, you have to understand the Bij mantra is Lam. L-A-M. Okay? We are going to chant every mantra for seven times because there are seven chakras. So we are going to chant the mantra seven times. So the first asana for your Mooladhar chakra and to activate energies there is Dandasar. Okay? This chakra keeps you fearless. Okay, it makes you more and more grounded. So, all your fears, if there is anything which keeps you back in your life, try to release them with every chanting of this mantra. Okay, so palms beside your thighs, press it on your mat, toes pointed inside, shoulders nicely roll back, spine fully straight. Keep pressing your tailbone on the floor. Look front, chin parallel to floor. And hold your tatasan with seven rounds of chanting of Lam, the Beej Mantra. Close your eyes. Let's start. Lam. 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 Lam, 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 Lam. Slowly release and relax. Now ready for the second asana, again to activate the same chakra. In our second asana, we are going to visualize. So coming to Malasana everyone. Okay. The second asana to activate your root chakra is Malasana, the garden pose. If it is very challenging for some people, as I always mention, keep your blocks, keep your strap always with you. So if you are not able to sit, sit on your two blocks. If you are not able to drop your heels, place anything under your heels, a roll towel, anything on which you can press your heels, elbows, close to your knees. Keep pressing them back and again keep pushing your tailbone down. Hands in the prayer position in front of your heart center. Now again close your eyes. And try to visualize anything of red color which brings happiness, not fear. It might be a red heart, a red dot, a red flower of rose. Anything which makes you happy, which makes you fearless. Which keeps you close to your roots. Five more counts. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Slowly release. Open your eyes. And relax. Okay, G? Now... After working on your Mooladhar Chakra, when we move forward, when we move upward, there is the second chakra which is known as Swadishtan or Sacral Chakra. The chakra where all the traumas, all the stress, all the depression, anything which makes you negative are everything is collected here. Okay? So, this chakra ki healing is very important. This chakra directly connected to your fertility issues also. Okay? So, jitna bhi stress level hai aapka, jo bhi aapke traumas hai, jo bhi aapke depressions hai, jo bhi aapko discomfort karte hai life mein, unko aap visualize karte hai, unko release karne ki koshish karenge. So, the first posture for that is Bhattar Konasan or Butterfly Pose. In the first asana, we are going to chant the mantras so that the vibration of those mantras can reach to that particular chakra. And whenever you are chanting, the visualization, the vibration should be on particularly that particular place. 
So the placement of your Swadishtan Chakra is 2 inches or 4 cm below your navel. Aki nabhi se 2 cm, 2 inch ya 4 cm niche jo place hai aapka lower abdomen jisse hum jante hai. There the sacral chakra is placed. Okay? So now come and sit in butterfly pose everyone. Bhattapunasan. Start flipping and start chanting the Vij mantra. The mantra is Vam. V-A-M. Okay? So the chanting of Makar should be longer. Let's start. Vam. Vam. Feel the vibrations of the mantra around your sacral chakra. Vam. 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 Now slowly release. Place your palms on your thigh and calf joint. Slowly and gently press it down and close it. One. Two. Three, four, and five. Release and relax. Now ready for the second asana abhyas for regulating and stimulating, activating your sacral chakra is goddess pose. Devi asana everyone. So jine bhi khade hoke karne mein dikkat aayegi, take your chair. So first I am showing you the chair variation. Sit on the edge of your chair. Feet out, toes out. And hold your goddess here. Okay? So all those members who are having issues, knee issues, or who are not able to stand for 5 seconds or 10 seconds in goddess pose, they will be doing the same in on chair. Okay? Chali. Baki sabi. Come and stand. Feet almost 3 to 4 feet apart according to your comfort. Toes outside 90 degrees out. Again according to your comfort. Now slowly exhale. Go down. Hand you can keep here in front of your heart. Or you can keep here with Yan Mudra. And stay there. Now it's time to visualize. Close your eyes. The color of your sacral chakra is orange. So visualize any object, any orange object. It might be the rising sun. It might be a plumpy and juicy orange. It might be a beautiful flower of marigold. Any object which makes you happy, which releases when you look at it, it releases all your stress, all your anxieties and makes you comfortable. Three counts more. Three, two and one. Slowly release and relax. Again, sit back. Now the next chakra, that is the solar plexus. Or Manipur Chakra. The source of your vital force. The source of your vital energies. Pet ke through everything. You know. Kehte na. Agar aapka pet saaf hai. So kuch bhi aapki life mein garbar nahi hai. At least physically and mentally. So now the solar plexus is your navel region. Your Manipur Chakra. The source of your vital energy. The source of your vital force. Aapki jeevni shakti. Okay, all those energies which keeps you alive, stable and happy and healthy is in your Manipur Chakra, the source of your heat and energy. So the first portion in which we are going to chant the mantra is the boat pose. Everybody's favorite. Okay, bohut jaldi jaldi chhodte hain jisko hum roj. So again, boat pose who are having back pain issue, aram se apni elbow rest pe kare, hal ka sa pair uthai. Thoda se shoulders uthai and position hold. Okay? For back pain issue. Jo kar sakte hai, we'll start with half more. Thikhe? Who can do but it's still not very much comfortable. So they'll be starting with 
half foot at the nokasan shin bone parallel to floor shoulders roll back the spine is straight and you can do it full straight your knees and hold your board and ready for the seven rounds of beej mantra that is yam y a m okay chalo let's start <laughs> sorry ram r a m okay Let's start, everyone. Eyes close. Ram. 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 Slowly release and lie down. Ready for the second asana that is Pavan Muktasan. So fold your both knees. If both knees are difficult for some member, you can go with Ek Pad Pavan Muktasan. Okay? Five counts with right leg. Five counts with left leg. And if both legs are comfortable for you, you can fold both your knees. Fold it. And now it's time for the visualization. The color of the Manipur chakra is yellow. So visualize any object which gives you happiness, which stimulates the energies inside your body. It might be a yellow rose. The yellow sun, the yellow marigolds or the daisies, yellow juicy and pulpy mangoes. And when you are visualizing these objects, try to live them completely. If you are visualizing a mango, you should feel and you should smell the mangoes. You should feel that juice inside your mouth. The more closely you will try to visualize the things, the more close you will be able to reach to your chakra and in its energies. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly release. Turn to your right or left and with your palm support, slowly come up. Now the most beautiful part of your body is your heart. So when the energies are flowing upward, now after your Manipur Chakra, your solar plexus, it is the time of your Anahat Chakra. The word Anahat itself is very beautiful. Anahat, that means the heart is made not to hurt anyone. Ahat karna yani kisi ko chot pauchana. Okay? The Anahat Chakra means which is not meant to hurt someone. Which is just meant to give and receive love. Which is only meant to show compassion and affection for other people. So that is the beauty of your heart. The kind of heart which God gifted you when you were born in this earth. It is totally full of love, care, kindness and compassion. When we come into the materialistic world, then so many other emotions also, you know, adulteration is everywhere. Milavat to har jaga hai. So har dil mein bhi phir itni milavat ho gai hai, dusre emotions ek chik hai. So with these two asanas, we are going to release anything which is negative inside you, any kind of grudges, grudges to your friends, to your family, to your parents, to your spouse, all those complaints which are unnecessarily inside us, maybe because of some trivial issues, koi chota so just try to release and your make and again try to make your heart as innocent as a kid. Okay. So the first asana for your anahat chakra is cobra pose. Okay. So everybody lie down on your stomach. The beach mantra is yam 
So if it is difficult for you, because when you are going into cobra, your stomach is going to press down. So if your chanting is difficult, you can say in your mind, because I am chanting, so I will be chanting for you all. Okay? And if you can chant easily, comfortably, you can also try to chant. The Beach Mantra is Yam, Y-A-M. Okay? Shall we? So everybody, lie down. Feet together. Flat. Palms beside your chest. Inhale. Shoulders nicely roll back. Elbows close to your ribcage. And when you lift up, opening up your chest, opening up your heart. Lift up and hold. And if you can try, you can recite the Beach Mantra. Eyes closed. Yum. The vibration, the awareness, the chagrupta and chetna of your thoughts should be on your heart. Yum. 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 Slowly release. And first, relax in Makrasan for a few seconds. And feel your heart here. Feel the vibration inside it. Feel the releasing of all the negative emotions. Feel the releasing of all the negative energies. Now slowly, with palm support, knee support. Ready for the next asana, that is Pushrasana. Okay, the camel pose. Again, on your knees. A conscious distance between your hips and between your knees and feet. The hip distance gap. If you are a beginner, hands on your waist, shoulders roll back, and go this much. Try to keep your elbows closer, okay? Elbows closer, door na jane de, unko try to bring them closer and hold your camel pose. This is the supported one for the beginners. Or jo achche practitioner hai, jo kar sakte hai, they will be rotating their right hand, right heel, rotate your left hand. Left heel, chest maximum up. If you don't have cervical, drop your neck down or you can hold it here. Keep pushing your pelvic little forward. Hold your camel pose, pushrasana. And it's time to visualize. Don't close your eyes in this pose, okay? If you are dropping your neck, aankhe band nahi karenge. If you are holding it here, you can close your eyes, okay? So the color of your heart is the color of prosperity. Color of growth, the green. So just think about and try to visualize a beautiful lush green garden. The green color of the tricolor. Aapke jo tirange ka hara rang hai, usse mehsoos kare. The green is the color of happiness. The green is the color of Peace and joy. Green is the color of completeness. Just think about the beautiful nature around you all. The beautiful green trees. Green grass. Whenever you say anything green around you, you become happy. You become full of life. So the same is the role of your heart in your body. Heart should be full of happiness. Heart should be full of life. Heart should be full of love, compassion and beauty for all. Slowly release. Come back and go for the counter pose. Balasan. When you are resting into Balasan, just feel your heart again. Apne ana hat chakra ko mehsoos kare. Apne hridar chakra ko mehsoos kare. 
अपने हृदय को महसूस करें यू हैव अ वेरी स्मॉल हार्ट वाई टू मेक इट हैवी विथ सो मेनी कंप्लेन एंड रजेज एंड नेगेटिविटीज मेक इट एज लाइट एंड एज पॉसिबल अपने हार्ट को जितना हल्का रखेंगे जितना ओपन फॉर ऑल रखेंगे उतना ही यू आर गोइंग टू एंजॉय इट इन हेल स्लो लिकमा एंड रिलैक्स नाउ आफ्टर द एनर्जी इज फ्लोइंग अप फोर्ड ओके नाउ इट्स टाइम टू योर नेक्स्ट फकरा and stimulated and activated that is your vishuddhi chakra or throat chakra okay so vishuddhi that means the purity okay that means purity where humne snan kar liya and we have taken bath we are pure no if you are physically pure that is not enough your words has to be pure we have learned mansa vacha karmana that means जो भी वायलेंस होता है ना आपके मन के थ्रू होना चाहिए ना आपके वचनों के थ्रू होना चाहिए नहीं आपके कर्मों के थ्रू होना चाहिए दैट मीन्स इफ यू आर गुड फॉर एवरी वन बट इफ यूर थॉट आर नेगेटिव दैट मीन्स यू आर डूइंग अ काइंड ऑफ हिंसा आप एक तरीके की वायलेंस कर रहे हैं ठीक है अगर आपके विचार अच्छे हैं बट योर एक्शन आर नॉट गुड सो आप कर्मों की हिंसा कर रहे हैं ठीक है अगर सब कुछ अच्छा है बट यू आर वेरी रूड वाई यू आर टॉकिंग टू पीपल यू आर नॉट एबल टू टॉक टू पीपल इन अ वेरी नाइस वे दैट मीन्स आप वचनों की हिंसा कर रहे हैं हिंसा मीन्स टू हर्ट समबडीज आइदर फिजिकली मेंटली और इवन इमोशनली सो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट आर विशुद्धि चक्रा सो विशुद्धि चक्रा ब्रिंग्स द प्योरिटी इन योर थॉट द प्योरिटी इन योर माइंड द प्योरिटी इन योर एक्शन okay and that's why this is a very important chakra why because the thyroid gland also here so if your vishuddhi chakra and the energies are blocked here you are you have so many health issues like you have hormonal issues you have fertility issues you have metabolism issues you have growth issues okay so your vishuddhi chakra should be pure all chakra should be good and pure but where you feel and one more thing people who are not able to communicate well who has many thoughts in kind of vichar to bahut hai lekin wo bol nahi pate hai so maan lijiye aapki energies aapke vishuddhi chakra mein block hai theek hai so we are going to do two very beautiful asana when we have already done one might be a new practice for so many members okay so the first asana in which we are going to chant the mantra kyunki dusre mein hum chanting nahi kar payenge the fish pose saral matsyasan theek hai ji jinko cervical ka issue hai ब्लॉक लगाए पीछे ठीक है और ब्लॉक लगाए आगे फर्स्ट आई एम शोइंग फॉर दोज मेंबर्स हु हैज सम फिजिकल रेस्ट्रिक्शंस ओके दिस इज सरल मत्स्यासन सो फर्स्ट आर्म्स टेक अंडर योर बटक्स आर्म्स अपने बटक्स के नीचे दबा लीजिए धीरे से अभी जो ब्लॉक का इस्तेमाल कर रहे हैं वो पहले ब्लॉक को पकड़ लो इस तरीके से रेस्ट योर अपर बैक नाउ आर्म्स अंडर योर बटक्स now rest your head crown the crown of your head okay and hold here this is saral matyasan for all those members who are not able to do it without any support okay ji so jinhe support ki zarurat hai they can come and you can do it directly lie down place your palms close to your shoulders now slowly inhale lift your head up chest up and touch your crown to the crown hands release on your thighs and relax okay so come into your position according to your comfort either with support or without support the beej mantra is hum okay the vishuddhi chakra says that we are one we are not separate so it is h a m hum if you can chant try to chant if not completely fine i'll be chanting for you all chalo come into the position hum हम 
हम हम रेणु जी फिश पोज हम फील द वाइब्रेशन अराउंड योर थाइरॉइड ग्लैंड अराउंड योर थ्रोट हम हम slowly release with your palm support first release your crown then slowly turn to your right or left and come up chalo ji ready for the second asana abhyas it is singh garjanasan as i said if the energies are blocked around your vishuddhi chakra it <coughs> affects your hormonal issues okay so sing garbhasan is a very good very beautiful practice which can cure your thyroidism in a very positive way okay so for coming into sing garbhasan abhi jinhe vajrasan mein baithna will be challenging they can do the same in sukhasan so first i'll be showing it sukhasan everyone so sit in sukhasan thoda sa wide okay place your left Leg in, left foot in, heel touching to your perineum, and then right heel touching to the left foot. Okay, sit in this position. Not a proper sukhasan. This is the dhasan. वो हम और बाद में कभी डिटेल में सीखेंगे. अभी आप इस पोजीशन में बैठ जाएं. Fingers inside. Okay, lean a little forward. हल्के का सागे झुकेंगे. So, so people, uh, the members who are not sitting in Vajrasan position, the extended Vajrasan, they will be sitting in this position. ठीक है? अभी ये position लीजिए. बाकी सभी लोग आ जाएं. Sit in Vajrasan. Now open your right knee, right side. Left knee, left side. Toes are touching to each other. Back side, the toes are touching. You must have seen this position. ठीक है जी? हमने उत्तान मंडुकासन किया है. If you remember. So the same position. But your toes should be touching back side, heels apart, and your hips are resting on the heel. If you are not comfortable back side, you can place the block and sit on that. Okay? Block laga lo aur uspe bench. Clear? Now fingers widely spread towards your body. Lean a little forward. Can you guess the position? This is the position of a lion. And the asana is singh garjanasan. Okay, chalo ji. So abhi jo bhi impurities hain, jo bhi energy blockages hain around your vishuddhi chakra, we are going to release them all with the practice of singh garjanasan. Okay. So the practice is, samajh le kya karna hai? You have to inhale the, ek acha inhale lenge while exhaling. In English we call it. Roaring the lion sound. So we have to roar like a lion. हमको शेर की जैसे दहाड़ना है यहाँ पर. And whatever stress, whatever blockages are there, you have to release them completely out. And when you are roaring, your tongue will come out, your eyes will come into center. ठीक है? आपकी जो दृष्टि है वो ब्रू मध्य हो जाएगी. जो eyebrow का center है, वहाँ पर आपको यानी कि आपकी दोनों eyeballs will come into center. ठीक है? And you have to try to look at the nose tip. एक बार मैं करके दिखा देती हूँ. Nice inhale. While exhaling, tongue out, roar like a lion. Drishti will come in center on your nose tip. ठीक है जी? So एक अच्छा सांस लेंगे. Okay. चल. We'll be doing it two times. Okay. Let's start. Inhale. Slowly take your tongue in. Nice breathing. If there is any saliva in your mouth, swallow it. Ready for the second round. Inhale. Slowly tongue in. Sit back. Now massage your throat. Slowly and gently. अपने थ्रोट को अपने विशुद्धि चक्रा को मसाज इट विद वेरी सॉफ्ट एंड जेंटल हैंड्स नाउ वाइल मसाजिंग विजुअलाइज एनीथिंग 
the color of your Vishuddhi chakra is indigo blue, light blue. You can visualize the light sky, light blue sky. You can visualize anything which is vast. It is pure, slowly release and relax. Release your position. So from root chakra, feel the flow of energy towards your sacral, to your solar plexus, to your anahat, to your vishuddhi. Now the two chakras which are remaining, they are for your mental strength, mental stability, your intellect. And the final one is the connectivity, the union of your energies to the divine energies. Okay? We have an aura, we have some positive vibes, negative vibes. So, what is it? You will feel at the end. Okay? So, the next chakra is your Agya chakra, the third eye center. Okay? You must have remembered the Pragya Yoga practice which we have done. Pragya Yoga is a beautiful practice which directly works on your Agya chakra. Okay? So, the first asana for Agya chakra and stimulating A is your Favorite resting pose, Balasan, shiny pose. Okay? So now inhale, stretch both your hands up. And the beach mantra is two akshar mantra, Om. Okay? Om, three akshar bhi hota hai. That means three letter, that is A, U, Ma. Two letter, O, Ma. One letter, that is Mahapranjvani, Maka. Sir, Ma. Okay? So here the chanting, the beach mantra for your mantra. Uh, Third eye center, or we call it Agya Chakra, is Om, two letter chanting, O and Ma. Okay, ji? Chal. So inhale, stretch both your hands up. Exhale, go down. You can place the block here to rest your head. If you are not able to touch the floor, and relax completely. With the chanting of Beach Mantra, Om for seven times. Oh, oh, the awareness on your Agya Chakra. Vibrations of Omkar around your Agya Chakra and feel that energy cycle, the spin of energy and the positivity in your Agya Chakra. Slowly inhale, come up and relax. Now ready for the second asana abhyas, Vajrasana or Padmasana. Jin se Padmasana aram se hota hai, they can sit in Padmasana. Jin se nahi hota hai, they can continue the Vajrasana. When holding Vajrasana, we are going for one very important mudra that is Prana mudra. Okay, first two fingers with the tip of your thumb. Okay. Rest it on your thighs. All the meditative postures are related to your Agya Chakra. Now while holding your Vajrasana with Pranamudra, feel that force of energy, force of life in your complete body and mind. Pranamudra regulates energies and the pranas inside your body and mind. Keeping your spine straight, feel 
that all the blockages of energy are opening slowly and gradually by chanting and the visualization. So to visualize your Agya Chakra and its beauty more deeply, visualize the blue color, the blue water, the blue water drops of rain, the blue beautiful feathers of peacock, blue berries, blue sky, the blue light in a flame, blue is the color of peace, blue is the color of relaxation, Blue is a color of balance. So working on your Agya Chakra, feel the same peace, same balance, same energies in your complete body and mind. When you are peaceful, peaceful in your thoughts, when you are balanced, Balanced in your emotions, when you are controlled, controlled in your actions, your life becomes easy. So feel with the visualizations of those beautiful blue objects, you are bringing that balance in your life, in your thoughts in your energies, in your emotions. Slowly open your eyes and relax. Now the last chakra is your crown chakra. The placement is here. Okay, the crown reason. To understand this reason, when you take birth, when you see an infant, there is a place here which is quite, you know, uh, not stable, not hard. Okay, very soft. So that, that uh, tissue, that soft tissue is exactly your crown chakra. That uh, uh, soft uh, issue is the, uh, tissue is the place where the crown chakra resides. Okay. So now what is the role of Sahasrara chakra? Uh, in Hindi we call it Sahasrara chakra. In English we call it crown chakra. So as I said, you have seen many people jinke bare mein aap kehte ho ki are the person has positive eyes usko milte hai to bahut positivity feel hoti hai that person has negative eyes don't invite him like that so what is what are these vibes these vibes are the auras around you ye vibes aapka aura hai aapka tej hai which brings the connectivity either comfortable or not comfortable if you are comfortable with somebody's energies you call them good vibes people if you are not un, uh, uh, if you are not comfortable with somebody's presence or with someone's energies, you can call them negative vibes people. Okay, so the vibes are not created by someone else. The vibes are created by your own. By your own when see and the vibes are at the end. So when the energy channels are nicely open from bottom to top, then you feel that when the energies are not blocked anywhere, that means you are a perfect and open person. And finally, you can radiate those vibes to other. Okay? So jab aapki vibes logo tak pahunchne lagti hai, when they start understanding you, when they start feeling connected to you, that is your aura, that is your vibes. Okay? And this vibe is not only for the people. This vibe is directly to the Almighty, directly to the divine energies. And that's why some people go into the meditation very soon. Some people take too much time, feel so much uncomfortable. Why? Somewhere the blockages is here. Because you will get out of your energies. You will connect with your divine energies. Or you will connect with your logo. Or you will connect with any good thing. Okay? Ji? So, to activate your Sahasrara Chakra, the last asana will be Shavasana. Before that, we are going to do one asana which we have learned. Rapid Pose Shashikasana. Okay? So, again, we will be making it comfortable with the use of a block. So, place the block here. Lock rakhe aage, in front of your knee. 
Now drop your crown here. Okay? Your crown should be touching to the block. This way. Hold your heel and slowly inhale. Lift your hip. Coming to rabbit pose. And if you are comfortable touching your crown to the floor, then touch it directly to the floor and that hold your rabbit pose. Seven counts with the chanting of mantra. Three Akshar Beej Mantra, that is A Uma. So when you are chanting Omkar this time, it has to be A Uma. Okay? So A Uma, three no words ki chanting aapko karni hai. If you are not comfortable, I will be doing on your behalf. Okay ji? So chali aajai sabhi. Coming to rabbit pose. Slowly and gradually release your head first. Relax your hands with palm support. Come up and relax. And now open your legs and lie down on your back in Shavasana. Eyes close. Norma, lie down in Shavasan. Lie down on your back. Shorya, lie down bitta. Feet, mat distance apart. Heels inside, toes outside. Palms beside your thighs. Facing the sky. Fingers naturally curled, no force, no strength, no resistance in your complete body anywhere. No two body parts are touching to each other. Norma, lie down on your spine, lie down on your back. Lie down, lie down on your back, corpse pose, Shavasan. I'll be spotlighting someone. Norma, lie down on your back. Yes. Feet apart. Eyes closed. You can rest your neck left, right or center. Now feel your complete body through your breath. Apne pure sharir ko apni saanso ke dwara mehsoos kare. You your body, your breath. Try to visualize your breath as deep as possible. Try to scan your complete body from toes to head. Try to observe and analyze the energies inside it. If you feel still, there is a kind of pain there is a kind of stretching or tension in any of the muscles or body parts. Take a deep inhale and try to release them. Mr. Noble, palms facing the sky. Palms facing the sky. Yes, Hatelia, open. Open. Niche rakhye, niche rakhye. Keep them down, but keep them open upside. Yes. Nice and deep inhale, exhale. Feel the energy inside your body. Feel your spine. Feel the activation of all those chakras 
फ्रॉम बॉटम टू टॉप एंड महसूस करें एक एनर्जी का फ्लो अपनी पूरी स्पाइन के थ्रू फ्रॉम टॉप टू बॉटम फ्रॉम बॉटम टू टॉप योर हार्ट इज ओपन फॉर ऑल योर वॉइस इज क्लियर एंड प्योर फॉर ऑल योर थॉट आर स्ट्रॉन्ग Your vital energies are strong. Your intellect is more balanced now. There is no fear inside your body and mind, and you can feel the connectivity to your energies. If you can realize this all, your session is achieved. If still you are stuck somewhere, if still your thoughts are wandering here and there, if your heart is thinking something wrong about someone, your mind is full of thoughts. You are having any kind of fears, stress, and traumas. Then we need. some more sessions of the same so feel your body feel your energies feel those connectivity the connection to the divinity the connection to your body to your mind to your soul to your brain try to detach yourself from all the outward noises and try to come inside and just listen to your breath listen to your heartbeat listen to the sound of the blood flowing through the arteries and veins in your complete body if you could be that much connected to your body and its activities your energies have become pure now slowly bring both your palms together placing them on your heart center one long and loud omkar and release everything which is inside you inside your heart and mind with the same vibrations of energies bring your feet together stretch your back side hands back side fingers interlock and stretch your complete body upper body upper side lower body lower side stretch 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 stretch, stretch and relax slowly turn to your right or left sit on your mat keeping your eyes closed both hands in prayer position again prayers to heal the universe it's time to share your energies to all those people around you who really needs those energies om sarve bhavantu sukhinah sarve santu निरामया सर्वे भद्रा पश्यंत मा कचिदुखाभवे ओ शांति 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 रब योर पाम जेंटली प्लेस इट ऑन योर आईज blink your eyes inside your palms once again nice energetic palming now relax your complete body from head to toes relax 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 open your eyes with a beautiful smile now take two to four 
टू फोर फाइव जितने भी आपको पानी की इच्छा है उतना पानी पी लीजिए विद द ग्लास विच यू हैव कैप्ड विद यू एंड इफ यू आर लीविंग योर मैट पुट ऑन योर स्लीपर्स डोंट टच दी 